beautiful afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Steve Burnett here from Cut that cablebill.com. Once again, that's cut that cablebill.com. And ooh boy, I know why you are here today. You're looking for the best way to jailbreak an Amazon Fire Stick, but also how to get a free trial for the best IPTV, the best streaming service here in 2020. And this is how we're going to do it. The rest of this video is actually the tutorial that you need to do, but here's something we want to do for you just as well. See that code 44444? If you text it to that number, three amazing things are going to happen to you. First of all, you're going to be able to talk to a live person who'll answer any questions you have about our beautiful IPTV and streaming service. But here are the two other things that we're gonna do for you as well. We're gonna give you a free trial of our service. And even if you decide not to use our beautiful IPTV and streaming service, we're gonna give you an app with over 5,000 movies on it, absolutely free, that you can use for life. Wow, so ladies and gentlemen, once again, send that text 44444 to the number you see here for your free trial, your free app, and just for helping us out, we now have that video that's going to show you exactly how to jailbreak an Amazon Fire Stick. Once again, this is Steve Burnett from CutThatCableBuild.com. I truly hope all of you are doing better. Please stay safe, and God bless. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Welcome to our channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to take your Fire Stick, brand new Fire Stick, out of the box, set it up, what applications you absolutely want to have, what applications you could install for movies, for TV shows, and also for live TV. We're gonna go ahead and get started. This is the first screen. Once you put the batteries in the remote control, you simply press the play button, choose your language. It registers the first thing it's asking you is, are you the registered owner of this Fire Stick? I'll put yes, so I'll continue. Parental controls, I'm gonna select no parental controls. It starts the remote setup. The remote control with the 4K Fire Stick has functions to turn on and off your TV, volume up and down. It's gonna ask you to choose the type of TV you have. I'm going to go ahead and select the TV that we have. Now it's going to try and sync your remote control to the TV. Follow the instructions on the screen. It's obviously paired itself. If that was successful for your TV, go ahead and select yes. You get a message. The remote is successfully set up. It's asking you if you want to install any applications that the Fire Stick offers. So if you have Hulu, Sling, YouTube, Netflix, etc., you could go into this section. All the applications, even if they're free applications that the Amazon Fire Stick provides, there they will require you to have a credit card on file with your Amazon account or it won't let you download any of the applications even if they're free. So in this case, I'm gonna select no thanks. Right away, it sets up the main page. Here's your main page of your Amazon Fire Stick. The first row is showing the apps and channels that you're gonna select and choose from. If you have Netflix, click on Netflix, enter your username and password, you'll have access to that. Prime Video, same thing also with YouTube as well. If you have Amazon Prime, you have access to all the videos, movies, and music that Amazon offers for free. There's also the Amazon Music and the Photos section. So if you have photos uploaded through Amazon's Drive or their photo application, you could select this application and be able to watch it on your big screen TV, all the pictures that you have. And there's just some of the other applications that are available that you could download and install to your Fire Stick. I'm going to give you a quick rundown of the columns. There's a sponsored ad, Prime Amazon Original Series, everything that Amazon has produced. Some offers from Stars, Showtime, Nick, etc. 
free movies and TV shows from IMDB TV. There's a featured apps and games category. If you have a cable subscription that allows you to access Sundance TV, A&E, any of the other networks, you're able to download and install their app. You'll have to sign in with your cable provider username, login, and you'll have access to all of that. Some more categories that Prime showing you. There's some movies. Amazon also sells movies. You'll be able to choose the movies you would like to watch and pay for. Recommended apps for you. Popular apps and movies, TV shows, dramas. You could rent or buy movies and TV shows. That's the first column of the Amazon's main page. You can always press the back button or return button on the remote control. Or the best button that I recommend is the house button on the remote control. Simply press that from anywhere, any window, any app you're inside of, and it'll always take you back to the Amazon main menu. So once you've installed the apps that you already want, that you subscribe to, Netflix, YouTube, etc. The next thing I'm going to show you how to do is to install applications to watch movies and TV shows for free, install third-party applications. In order to do this, we're going to have to unlock the Fire Stick. Some people call it jailbreaking. It's nothing more than just pushing a button that allows third-party applications to be installed. So we're going to go to settings on the top, scroll over to My Fire TV, press enter, scroll down to developer options, press enter. We are going to turn on ADB debugging as well as apps from unknown sources. Once that's complete, we're going to go ahead and select the house button on the remote control. It takes us back to the main menu. I'd like you to go to the magnifying glass on the left hand side and type in downloader. After the first few characters, you will see it populate. There it is. Highlight it and press enter. It's the orange background with the arrow pointing down. I'm going to select it and press enter. It allows me to download and install it. Press enter on download. This application is nothing more than a browser, but we're going to need this application to install the next application called File Linked. It's already done downloading. I'm going to select Open. The Fire Stick is asking if you want to allow it. You're going to always want to allow. If you deny, then it won't let you open up the application. I'm going to select OK and now I'm at the browser. Once you're at this browser, I would like you to highlight, press enter. The keypad will pop up and I would like you to type in the following get.filelinked.com. Double check, make sure it's correct. All the characters, highlight go, press enter. As soon as you press enter, the download will begin. Once the download is complete, you'll be prompted to install the application. We're gonna highlight install, press enter. The application is fairly small, so it'll be quick to install and you have the Amazon 4K Fire Stick, which is the fastest Fire Stick that Amazon has made. The app is installed. We're now going to select Open. It 
the first part it's going to ask you is to enter a code. The code that you're going to enter is 422-81968. Select Next. It's highlighted on Continue. We'll press Enter. As soon as you enter, it opens up the file linked store. This is where you'll be able to download and install applications, third-party applications. The best ones for 2020 are going to be the following. Dexter TV. This is a paid subscription service for live TV, sports, and pay-per-view events. Information will be in the description. TV Mate is a companion application to the Dexter TV. It's basically a TV guide. So the first application I'm going to highlight is Dexter TV. Highlight the arrow, press enter. To install these applications, it's a two-step process. The first step will be download. Once the download is complete, that arrow button will turn to a play button. We're going to select enter again and you'll be prompted to install. Highlight install, press enter and it'll start installing Dexter TV. We're going to go through all the applications. It's the same two-step process. We'll select done and that'll take us back to the file linked store. If you were to select open, it will open up the application that you just installed. Second application we're going to install is going to be the TV guide for the Dexter TV service. Select enter. It's a small application so that was pretty quick. The next step will be to install it. Press enter on the play button. You'll be prompted to install. Highlight install and press enter. Once the application is installed we're going to select done to take us back to the file linked store. The next application that I would like you to install is going to be the MX Player. This one is mandatory if you're going to install any movie and TV applications as this is the video and audio player for those applications. Same two-step process. Download, then press enter, select install. That's complete. We're going to select Done. The next application I'd like you to install, you're going to have access to movies and TV shows with Nova TV. Highlight it, press Enter. Download is complete. Press Enter one more time. You're prompted to install. Select Install, press Enter. You could search movies from the 1920s to the brand new movies that are out in the theaters with these applications. We're going to select Done. The next movie and TV application is called Cat Mouse. These are the top two most reliable applications at this time going into 2020. Select Enter. Download is complete. Select Enter again. Prompt for the install. Highlight install and press enter. It's complete. We're going to select done. Cyberflix is a third movie and TV show application that I recommend you install. So we just installed three applications for movies and TV shows. You may ask why three. The reason that I suggest installing several of them is in case one of the applications doesn't have the links to be able to show the movie or TV show that you're looking for you have a second option and a third option that's complete we're gonna select done so we're done with this application at this time we've installed all the applications that we need I would like you to press backspace or return on your remote control it's going to ask if you want to enter a new code. Select yes and this will bring you to the main page of the file linked. What I'd like you to do is go up, scroll up, toggle up to the trash can, press enter. 
it's asking, do you want to delete all files from the file linked download folder? I would like you to press yes. This will save space on the Fire Stick. It's not going to uninstall the applications you just installed. It's only going to delete the files from the file linked folder. So I pressed yes. So that is deleted. Now I'd like you to press the house button on the remote control. Now we're back at the main menu. The next thing I'm going to teach you is how to bring the applications that you've installed to the front page. So every time you turn on your fire stick, those applications and the logos will be here in the front page under your apps and channels. To do this, you're going to press and hold the shortcut button. It's the house button. Hold it for two seconds. A pop-up will appear. Highlight apps. Press enter. Here's all the applications that are installed. In my case, in my Fire Stick, you'll see all of your application that you've installed. We are going to scroll down to the last ones which are going to be the newest applications you just installed onto your Fire Stick. Highlight it. Don't press enter. What I'd like you to do is highlight it, then press the three line menu button on your remote control. A pop-up will appear. Select move to front. That now moved the application to the front of your apps channel. Scroll down to the bottom again. Cat Mouse was another application that we installed. This is for movies and TV shows. Highlight it, press the three line menu button on your remote control. Select move to front, press enter. We're gonna do the same thing with Nova TV. And the last two that I would like you to put into your favorites is going to be the TV guide. If you choose to use Dexter TV's paid subscription, so I'm going to do the TV guide, highlight it, click on the three line menu button, and move to the front. The last one is Dexter TV, three line menu button, and move to front. Now that that's set, I'd like you to press the house button on the remote control. We're back at the main menu and you will now see the logos to the applications that you have just made as your favorite essentially. They'll always be in the front of the screen. Just a quick rundown. Dexter TV is a paid live TV service. You get all your HBO, Cinemax, Showtime, ESPNs, all your major networks, sports, basketball, football, hockey, everything that there is, as well as pay-per-views. TV Mate is a companion application to the Dexter TV Guide. That'll be the TV Guide that looks exactly like your cables TV Guide, where you'll see the time, what's playing, what program is on. Nova TV, movies and TV shows. Cat Mouse, movies and TV shows and Cyberflix movies and TV show. I'm going to open up one of the movie and TV show applications just to show you how to navigate through it, what to set up at the beginning. We're going to select Nova, press enter. Anytime there's a update to these applications, they'll notify you. Here's a pop-up that comes up allowing access. We're always going to allow the access. This application is saying there's a new version. There's no problem. Highlight it, press enter, and it'll start downloading the file. It'll prompt you to install. Select install. And now Nova TV will be updated to the newest version. Once the install is complete, we'll select open. Nova TV is now open. Here's a quick rundown. It starts with TV shows. You have all your TV shows that you could scroll through. You have access to every season and every episode of every TV show that's been made. On the top column, 
you could select by genre. The very top right, there's a magnifying glass in case you want to search a specific TV show. On the top left corner, there's a three line menu button. Highlight it, press it, you'll be able to toggle between movies and TV shows, as well as the settings, the library, and the calendar. So I will highlight movies. All the movies appear. Again, you could scroll down to see the categories. Top plane, now plane, Netflix original movies, Hindi movies, 50 highest grossing movies of all time. Pretty cool categories that this application has. And again, on top, you could search by genre. That's a quick preview of Nova TV. I'm going to back out. Yes, I do want to quit this application by just backspacing. It'll take you back to the Amazon main menu. The next application I'll select is Cat Mouse. Cat Mouse and the Cyberflix have the same layout, so I won't go into the Cyberflix to show you, but I will show you Cat Mouse. You're going to allow the permissions. Cat Mouse also has an update for the holidays 2.0 version. We will select update. The application will update, download first, and then prompt you to install. Once the application is installed, you could choose open. Read the disclaimer. If you choose to proceed, select and highlight proceed and press enter. Just like Nova TV, Cat Mouse starts off with the TV shows that are plain. There's a drop down menu where you could search by genre. On the top right, there's a magnifying glass where you could search a particular movie or TV show. On the top left, again, you could toggle between movies and TV shows. You could set favorites, go to the settings, downloads. I recommend you never download anything. I'm going to select movies and the way you access any of the movies or TV shows in any one of these applications would be simply choose what you like. I'll choose the Joker. I'll read that. I'll backspace out of that on the top right. That's where you're going to press play. It's telling you just press the play button. It gives you a quick description of the movie. You could play a trailer. In this case, you could set a favorite. In this case, I'm going to press the highlight the play button and press play. Little notification, read it. I'm going to press thanks. As soon as you press play, this application is basically nothing more than a search engine. It's searching the internet for all the places that have and that are hosting this particular movie. The highest quality links always start at the top. So there's 4K links, 1080 links, 720 links, high quality links, all the way down. The more you wait, the more it will continue to populate links. To start watching, all you would do is select one of the links and then select play. Once you select play, it'll load the movie and start playing. If you ever get any buffering with any of these movies, I wouldn't waste my time waiting. There's so many links to choose from. I would just back out and select a different link, press play until you find a link that has no buffering issues. I'm going to back out of this application. The last thing I'm going to show you in this video, I'm going to press the house button on the remote control. There's one app that I recommend that you install. It's a speed test application just to make sure that you have enough speed coming into your Fire Stick to be able to stream all the movies and TV shows. Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu, those are really big companies so they're able to compress the data or the files to play the movies where you should not experience any buffering even if you have low internet speed or Wi-Fi speed. Some of the movie applications, however, 
and the live TV especially, they require a minimum of 20 to 25 megabytes per second download speed. So I'm going to show you how to get an application that's going to show you exactly the download speed coming into your device. We're going to go to the magnifying glass. We're going to search for an application called Analyti. As soon as you put in the first few characters, you will see it populate. There it is, Analyti. It's a speed test and Wi-Fi analyzer. Highlight it, select enter, download it. As soon as it's finished downloading, you could open the application. This application, as soon as you open it, it'll begin the speed test immediately. I'm just going to wait a couple seconds for it to install the application. It's installed now. I'm going to select open. This is a free application. There's no reason why nobody should not have this application. It's running the initial test of download speed. I'm off uh, I'm running off of the Wi-Fi at the moment. My download speed finished at 90 megabytes per second. The upload speed is going to finish at pretty close. So 85 upload speed. More than enough to be able to stream 4K movies, 1080 movies, 720 quality movies and TV shows, live TV. I'm going to press now the house button on the remote control. And you're now back at the Amazon main menu. I've now showed you how to take your Fire Stick from out of the box, set up your remote control, set up your network, install your initial applications, your YouTube, Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, etc., as well as install third party applications. I showed you how to unlock it or jailbreak your Fire Stick, install movie applications, TV show applications, as well as a live TV paid service called Dexter TV that I use. If you appreciate the value of this video, please subscribe to the channel, press like, all that good stuff, share it with your friends. It helps out the channel.